Hello there, this is Dave, and you're listening to Wasting All the Time, a podcast. This is episode 100, part 2 of our end of the year wrap up special, counting down the top 10 scenes of 2014 as voted on by you. So we're picking up where we left off yesterday with the final four favorite scenes of 2014. And uh, thanks very much for listening. We wouldn't do this if no one listened. So (laughs) just one episode before that. Mm. Nice. Keeping it close. Episode 84. Woo! Trying to stack these apples. (laughs) We had a a little scene. A scene. Mm. Where a great schooler had a school project to put on a festival. Mm. I vaguely do. And he chose to make it an asparagus festival. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so number four, the asparagus festival. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Beginner level festival. <laughs> Beginner. Beginner level, beginner level festival. festival. Mm. I, My first one was like, all all the games are like, push the button. All right, good job. Here's a hundred <laughs> tickets. That's that's it. Mm. Or um, you know, there's a guy's beginner levels trying to set up a festival, which is right. Or. Or like an elementary school student being taught the beginning levels of setting up a festival. Mm. All right, Timmy, what are you working on over here then? Well, um, it's a, a, a festival, I guess. Is this an asparagus festival? Then? It's a fest. Um, yeah, it's got to be a festival. And I pick asparagus. Very good, very good. So now, uh, what? <laughs> asparagus is funny. Why is asparagus funny? Because it's a pea. <laughs> oh, because it makes... Uh, uh, right, right, right. Yeah. Uh-huh. So um, <laughs> is that why you've uh, put all these um, open urinals out here? The um, toilets the, are for the, the pea. Uh-huh, right. This, this Asparagus. I see. P. I see. That's one of the things from asparagus. I see. And so you've, you, I, it looks like you've really highlighted that here. There's a lot of urinals. It's pretty funny, I guess. I suppose it would be. Um, now, I'm just noticing one little flaw. Oh, uh, okay. It's, it's all urinals. Now, Timmy. Can everyone use a urinal? If you have to pee, you, you pee in a, in, a, in a toilet. Yeah. <laughs> now, you understand there's a difference between a urinal and a toilet like you have at home, right? No. Oh. You mean like the sit down? <laughs> yes. You don't need to sit down. If well, if you pee, some people don't. <laughs> well, it is an asparagus festival, so people are walking around. Right, but but Timmy, we um, you have a little sister, don't you? Yeah, Tabitha. <laughs> and um, and. <laughs> When she... She's three years old, I guess. Yes. And is she potty trained, Timmy? I... Like... Like what? Like a train? <laughs> like, does she... Does she go to the bathroom and the toilet? Yeah. Yes. Now, she doesn't... She doesn't go wee-wee standing <laughs> up, does she? Well... I don't know. She's little. But she can't go wee-wee standing up, can she? My mommy says I can't watch, so... Well, that's very good of your mommy to to look out for your little sister I, that way. 
guess I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm just going to tell you, uh, little girls... She doesn't like asparagus. So... Your your mommy or your little sister? Not, she doesn't either. So neither of them <laughs> like asparagus. Uh-uh. That's why I picked asparagus. Ah. Uh, because I think it's funny. Uh-huh. Well, it, I can see why why one would think it was funny. So, um, I guess I'm going to take a ticket. So, because uh, you came to my festival. What? If I have an asparagus festival, you take a ticket. I take a <laughs> ticket? I take a ticket. You take it. I don't... Wh- <laughs> To get, you have to have a ticket to get in. Well, I don't have a ticket, Timmy. Well, I have to ask you to leave, please. Yeah. You, you're asking me to leave? If this was your assignment, Timmy, I. It's an asparagus festival, I guess. <laughs> so, there's a ticket, I guess. Where do I get these tickets? They're five dollars. I. I'm not paying you five dollars, Timmy. Well, I'm your teacher. I guess I guess you didn't use anything, so just don't come back. All right, Timmy. I'm going to give you a C plus here. Yes. And uh, and I think I'm going to call your mother as well. <laughs> well, okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, it was the classic little kid of the <laughs> ideas jumping from one thing right. to another. They didn't really have relation to what he's talking uh, yeah. about at the time. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> Dave, you you have the uh, the playing children thing down. I think it's just it's <laughs> always terrifying. good. And I loved I love how there are several moments where like. My character is trying to teach you something. It's like, oh, teach a moment. Teach. Mm-hmm. And you draw the teacher off onto this totally <laughs> yeah. other tangent. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. Like the kid doesn't give a shit about his project. <laughs> it's clearly stuff like that his parents told him to say that he read once. It's a festival and you need tickets, I guess. He's thinking about something yeah. else. Yeah. Like, <sighs> <laughs> then, oh, Tabitha! Yes. <laughs> There's history there. Yeah, I'm going to give you a C plus. Yes. <laughs> I was hoping for a D. This is amazing. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that was fun. That was a fun one. Uh, well, let's uh, move it along Soldier to the next on. one. Mm. This is number three. Three. 2013. Nope. <laughs> this is from another special episode. Mm. Episode Yay! 76, Wasting All the Free Time. <gasps> uh. <laughs> this is from our 4th of July special. Right. Yay! It's, it's one of my favorite episodes from the entire <laughs> year, I have to say. That was so a much fun one. Fun stuff in there, and and I have to I have to really <laughs> recommend that you go on YouTube and watch mm. the video that I made <laughs> because I made a video for the entire episode uh. using historical paintings <laughs> and artwork, and it adds an extra layer of it, everybody yeah. wins of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something no. it's a visual one. No, well, yeah, and I loved. I love that it just worked out that the episode that was going to drop on July 4th was episode, episode 76. 76. Yeah. <laughs> 76. Awesome. Sorry, I missed it. <laughs> yeah. We can fix that in post. That's cool. Wait, so 70, 70, 78, seven. 70 Four. number. Episode 76. Yay. Wasting all, right, all the free time. once. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Bill of Rights episode or or scene oh, rather. Oh, right. <laughs> and uh and enjoy the discussion about what should be in the Bill of Rights <laughs> to uh, accomplish that the next great thing. Is John yeah. Hancock Bridges, yeah. Yeah. I'm Madison. And and what it wasn't guy. an easy task either. There's no, a lot of discussion about what should go in it. 
Uh huh. Uh, especially when it came around to the the whole Bill of Rights. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that was they, a big you know, deal. Yeah. Cool. Hey. God, that is fun. I'm gonna tell Sam he was right. All right, Van Hitchen, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Yes. This uh, is, oh, we're we're already wrapping things yep, up. Yeah, this is pretty uh, much a formality. I I wrote it, so you know it's good. It's just well, it's, yeah, it's got some good stuff in it's, it. But it's pretty um, good. I didn't think we were near done. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay to be mistaken uh, like you are because I wrote it and it's uh, awesome. Yes, well, Martin and I we just had a few questions about the. Uh, the amendments, the Bill of Rights. Yes, Alexander right, yeah. Martin here, one, Mr. Mr. Madison. What, yeah, yeah. Um, Go ahead. We had we had been working through the night on all yes. kinds of ideas about what should be in the Bill of Rights. Oh, that's that's great. Uh, I tell you what, Lady Liberty, we're, really we're limited to ten. Yeah. We're limited to ten spots, mm-hmm. and right, and we're we've done a lot of actually selection up got, to this point. We were I, we were I not made aware. We were not made aware. Of no, any we were not privy to those uh, discussions. But, um, um, so I think we so should we, be um, discussing that now. Oh. Okay. If you, I mean, you guys could do the next one, but sure, we can discuss it now if you want. That's <sighs> all right. right okay, okay the, Martin. The next major document outlining a founding of a nation. We'll do that. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, Mister Matt. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. What are we? In, what are we contending with here? So, okay. The first one I had. The first one I came up with, which I again I thought was pretty good. Uh, so the first one, the first one is the, the Congress and the kind of lawmaker people. You can't. You can't make anyone shut up. I mean, the, the language is better than that. But people can say whatever they want. What did I, where's my notes here? Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, exercise of free speech. So, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's... Okay, you I, want people yeah, to... Yeah, that's, that's good. I, 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 that, I guess that can stay in. Right? Come on, that's, that's pretty good. W- maybe we could bump it down a little bit from number one. Because mm-hmm. uh, we came up with one. Um, we, think, we think there should be a right to, um, a right to certain breakfast foods. Absolutely. Uh, grape muffins in particular. Mm-hmm. Grape muff. That's yes. Grape muffins. Yes. You've had a grape muffin. That's that's awful. But there should uh, be a right to have them. I'm just saying. It's exactly this sort of prejudice that we're fighting against. <laughs> I don't. I, I mean, I I guess yeah. Congress shall make no law. No law restricting a man's right to consume right. to to yeah, bake right. and consume grape muffins. Amongst other breakfast treats, or to have grape muffins prepared by others to be included in a breakfast. I yes, mean, you 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 really foresee that as being a, a, a legislative need and in the future. There's a secondary clause covering French toast. Of course, there right. is. Right, and then a third clause for bear claws, but yes. that's a that's its own thing. Um, and you think that's m- more important? Than the government not being able to silence or censor citizens. Well, it's not that it's I, more important. I just, but it's it just, needs a higher placement. It needs more visibility. Exactly. Yeah. Everyone is. We've we've all been talking for quite some time now about speech and how yeah. much to allow and how much to control. Everyone Which knows is, about that. It doesn't need to be on top. Great muffins. Who's talking about that? No one. Only the disenfranchised. Just us. Only those put out. Just us. Just the two of you. Just us. Literally. Mainly the two of us. Literally. Mainly. Mainly. Not only. just. Not just. Not just. No, mainly. that's right. Uh, Dobbs is talking about this too. Dobbs is all over it. it yes. Yeah, but. Um, I mean, okay, you know what? So that's our first that's idea. That's the first one. I'll see Number one, first... Mr. Madison. Number one. I'll see if I can pencil it in. I'll see if yeah. I can. Um, or, or quill it in. I'll see if I can quill it in for you guys with the ink. Because I guess it's important. If it's important to the states, yeah, I'll see what I can do. But anyway, it certainly is important to the state of North Carolina. That's good. That, no, yeah, and the state of Delaware. Delaware? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Because it's because the where is in the. <laughs> no, I'm. I, yeah, uh, that was uh, that was funny the first time you said it. Thank um, you. This is not a moment for levity, gentlemen. I have more concerns. Mm. Oh. That's true. Yes, that's we do. We, that, that, was, that was number one of our proposed amendments. Number one. Okay. That's Pertaining like to grape muffins. The breakfast mm-hmm. and the preparing. Right, uh, sure. Uh, Very Martin, important. did you want to go on with the next? Absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think that there should be a condition placed into this Constitution, a, a bill that states that every man has the right to play... Musical instruments 
past the hour of 10 at night. I, there's been some contention in my neighborhood. And mine as well, yes. Uh, where, wherein people have, unbidden by myself, strolled past the front of my property and heard me playing my banjo. I didn't know you played banjo. And there have been complaints. I don't understand this. No. Apparently I... there is some rule of gentlemanliness. Thing. A man should be able to express his musical stylings, his musical heart at any time of day. Damn it all, yes. It is our and God-given right oh, yes, to put that in there. So it's your God-given right to play the banjo at all hours. Yes. That's uh if uh, myself God, I play the I play the pan flute. Um but it marvelously well. If God had not intended me to play my five string past the hour of ten at night, then he wouldn't have given it to me. He wouldn't have given me five finger switch to play. No, no, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have. I don't think that follows logically. I mean, sure, you can play well, it. Well, what was your number two? I, I thought it was pretty good. Again, it, I mean, it's no musical instruments, but basically the idea that we have to keep this militia to keep ourselves safe from the Brits, and so Congress and the government, we can't take away anyone's guns, right? Come on. How are you going to protect yourself without guns? Well, I can That's see that the idea important, behind but it. But I, I, again, again, I think we can move that down. It's all I mean, in the it's ordering. It's, I, I think that people are. I think that that can just be in there. We don't need people like reading it all no. the time. If you're you know? crowding out the top of the list with all of these sort of understood, well, of course, type of bills. Of, yeah. Then there's not going to be any room left for all of these other more specific concerns. Yes. Yeah. And these, these specific concerns need to go in the, the Bill of Rights. They, that, yeah, I think If so. not there, sir, then where? I don't know, maybe some, like, documentation. To, anyway, yeah, I mean, there's no way anyone could misinterpret that one, so we'll just move on to number three. That one's really clear. Um, and like I said, pencil it in. I'll talk to some of the other guys. I'll talk to B. Frankie and see what he says. And like this. It was the Johnsons in particular who criticized my playing. The Johnsons. Mark that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can add a footnote into that. We'll go ahead and have that. Uh, that's very important. Okay, okay. So we've got great muffins. We've got 10 p.m. banjos and pan flutes and what have you. Wait, how many bills of rights do you already have there? How many bills of rights? Just uh, just the one, but there's a couple bits in it. Like, it's kind of broken down. We're only allowed 10. How many do you have? Um, I mean, I came up... I When I, when I was writing the thing I came up with, which is to say about 10 of them myself, but they're really good. You've already come up with 10? I cry foul. I cry foul. You already decided how many... No, that's kind of why we're here, so we can just kind of run through this and be like... What about when was I consulted on the matter? What about our proposed amendment covering stuffed children's toys? Stuffed children's toys, What about our amendment covering... Pineapple upside down cake. Pineapple upside down cake and other confectionaries I that of the upside the down one. nature. I thought that was the first one with the breakfast things. No, that no. Was breakfast. You know, no, who has no, sir. <laughs> breakfast is not dessert. Can we? Can you we, cannot have cake for breakfast. We should make that an amendment. Okay, which one can we get rid of, sir? Oh no, no, no hold up, hold up, sir. There's something about a jury we don't Mr. need. Mr. Madison, I protest. Yeah, you've been doing that. No, I'm, I'm agreeing with you this one. Dessert for breakfast. We'll make it an amendment. Holy crap, come you on. You can't do that. You guys don't... I thought... Come on, that's what we're doing. No. You got the cake and you no. got the breakfast? No. Des- you Dessert are making a breakfast? folly of this democracy. <laughs> there must be limits. Checks. Mr. Madison. And that's Checks what we're and here. balances. That's what we're here to do, right? That's why we're the guys. We're gonna come on, come on. How many times Look, it can't be just the three of us that have ideas for what should be in the Bill of Rights. Surely this should be made available to the floor. No, I mean we'll get there. We'll get there. I just thought I figured I'd check you know. And whose idea was it that there can only be ten? You know, people that have... there can only be ten amendments? Yeah, the first Mr. Madison, tell me The first one was really long. Tell me it is not just because you counted how many fingers you have. Uh technically no. Technically, then, I can gladly tell you that that exact statement is, is false. So, so, exactly, fingers, yeah. No. Finally, some yeah. comfort. There you go, that's what I'm here for. Some reassurance. Seriously, though, dessert for breakfast, come on. 
Maybe we can think about it, but we've still got 35 more of these to go through with you. Okay. You, so you don't want to hear my 10? I, thought they, I think they're pretty good. Frankly, sir, I don't know how many of your 10 are going to remain once you've heard the rest of these. Some real gems here. <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> that was a good episode. That oh. was that one was great. We like kind of rotated the straight man, kind of yeah. Like it started kind of with Dave and you a well, little bit, and then as I started reading, it switched back over to me because you guys had the ridiculous uh, things of <laughs> you're making a folly of this democracy. Yeah. <laughs> Says the guy who wants to <laughs> legislate breakfast foods and banjo playing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> come well, on, come on, cake for breakfast. Come on. Yeah. And they're both well, like, no, that's a yeah. stupid well, idea. Well, what's funny about that scene is, um, you know, in the context of that episode, your James Madison character mm. um, <laughs> yeah. had been kind of the whack out, you know, clowny character earlier on. Uh-huh. And so it was very fun. With the uh, Declaration of Independence. Right. Yeah. And so it was very fun to then have him you know, ostensibly being the straight man, like with people who are even more crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, that was fun. Like, and, uh, even later on towards the end of that scene, I would keep trying to say things. And you guys were like, no, it's this. <laughs> like, but yeah, guys, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I also liked how you had the actual, you know, bills, bills of rights. Right. <laughs> how many other? <laughs> I don't know. How, how would you? I guess you'd just call them amendments. But anyway, I said amendments a couple times in there. I didn't know uh, if I was um, right. <laughs> and we were like, "No, those are no, those are the <laughs> obvious ones. <Yeah. laughs> you can't put those up at top because then no one will see the ones that we want. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have all these. Well, of course, well, of course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, which, which is extra funny if you know about the framing of the constitution because there were many delegates who were like i don't think we need a bill of rights i mean all of these things you're talking about are pretty much assumed with everything else in the constitution (laughs) yeah (laughs) i did not know that wasn't there like initially some debate about whether to do a constitution or a bill of rights i think there might have been that i don't know something like that and then they ended up having to do both Right. Basically. Yeah, there were a couple of there were a couple of states that just refused to sign on unless there was a bill of rights. Dang. Yeah. Politics yeah. at its beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, guys, this year we started doing something new. Mm-hmm. Yes, we did. Finally. <laughs> I started wearing pants to the podcast. Yeah. And we are Endlessly thankful for that. Endlessly. Endlessly. Without uh, something. Uh, an end. 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 Without end. Without end. I was going to say finish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I have to bring them into it. Uh. Anyhow, John and I uh, started doing the open access interview series. Right. Yay! Because Cody's schedule didn't allow. I'm so popular. Just mm-hmm. I know uh, I'm not record an episode and, and, and yeah we, so we we wanted to try something else mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. something that involves <coughs> digging into characters a little deeper mm-hmm. and uh this is this is what we came up with and uh it's been a lot of fun i think yeah it's been mostly pretty fun it's kind of a kind of a fractured parody of fresh air on npr mm-hmm. the terry gross interview program yeah for those nobody who, nobody <laughs> listens to npr <laughs> Um, yeah, and then uh, you know we've since done some episodes that uh, had all three of us in mm-hmm. it, and uh, we may end up doing episodes with even more in the future. Yeah. Who knows? Woo! Could be. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is from episode two of the Open Access Interview oh, series. This is the episode with Doctor Sorry, Doctor Professor Archibald Randall Sundrum, <laughs> yes, astrophysicist turned <laughs> youth author. <laughs> That asshole. And uh, his uh, publisher, Reed Handler. <laughs> right. uh, I always thought that was red, like red, red as. Oh, maybe. I don't know. You said that and it made me think of it. Yeah. It's either red as or read this as. Uh, okay. I I've, right. haven't really heard anyone actually say it before. Yeah. I've always thought 
the same as you, Cody. Red. Yeah. Uh, Edward Weatherby. Right. And uh, Weatherby. Quite. Weatherby. <coughs> And uh, yeah, he is, he is he is not very good at relating to people. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this this scene got multiple mm. good. So we're doing like a little this is selection from it. Snippet. This is a selection from that episode. You, I highly recommend you go back and listen to it. This is uh, uh, when they're talking about one of his children's books because he has a whole series. Mm-hmm. This is from um, my pen pal, the Sun. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to put you on the spot here, uh, especially, uh, but if, especially given your principles regarding the uh, mm. you know old science versus new science, mm. but I was wondering if maybe you could read us a brief excerpt from the first no- from your first novel, um, My Pen Pal the Sun. I understand Sorry. there's a there's there's something about ice cream in there. Yes, well, I I, I am endeavoring uh, always to relate to children. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I believe it's well known that children enjoy the ice cream. Mm-hmm. And so this and and this uh, passage uh, doesn't contain any uh, any science that's since been disproven, or no, I, I don't, I don't, th- I don't suppose so. Although there is the the ten percent tone. Uh, so we, we will yes. be we'll be reviewing this, of course. Mm-hmm. But well, I'd, uh, I'd love to hear the passage. Oh, certainly, I, I'll read you a, a, a brief excerpt. From my pen pal, the sun. Conversations with a star. Uh. Uh, and and so again, this is the one that is uh, written as a dialogue. You know, but it put letters to and fro, mm-hmm. back and forth. Uh, although I, I must advise you that this is purely fiction, in conceit that no one could be able. To write a letter to oh, no, to the course, sun, of course. course, it would burn up. And what's what's the child's name again in this? Uh, Timmy. 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 Yes, yeah, a very good child's name, I suppose. All right, here we are. Um, so this is uh, begins in his voice, and then mm-hmm. there's a response from what is, you know, ostensibly the sun. <laughs> Dear Mister Sun, what is your favorite kind of ice cream? Your friend, Timmy. Did you see that was that was yes. the, the child? <clears throat> now it's the son. <laughs> Dear Timmy, alas, I have no mouth, nor in fact do I have anything you would consider a body part. I am simply too hot to be anything other than plasma and gas. If I had any body parts, they would quickly burn away to the component elements. Oh. This is why we can never hug each other, and even though you are over ninety million miles away. I will still burn your skin and give you cancer unless you hide from me. I will never have ice cream or candy or any other sweets. This makes me terribly sad. Yours truly, Sol, the sun. And then there's a a brief postscript. Uh, P.S. Nothing you have ever seen would exist if it weren't for me. And by the way, I'm already middle-aged. Because stars live and die, you see. Right, right, of course. The and thing that we rely is on. That a, yeah. is, is that a theme in the greater novel, the death of stars? Indeed. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do is uh, to communicate to children that stars, like people, uh, have a lifespan, see. There's stars, of, there's, there's people of all different shapes and sizes, and there's stars of all different shapes and sizes, and they are born, they live, and then they die terrible deaths. And it's uh, important for people to understand this. It I pertains think, directly to the future of the human species and, and any creature living on Earth, see. For uh, eventually it will be consumed by the sun, as it's supposed well, to be a red I, giant. I'd love to talk more about this, but um, we need to take just a moment right now. We'll, we will get back to this subject. Certainly. Um, after, after this message. The Wasting All the Time Open Access interview series is sponsored in part by our intern, Ted, who still insists on stalking the Wasting All the Time break room using his own money. Wow. Oh, God. Yeah. I was, uh, it was a little dark. Mm. Honestly, one of my favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, <laughs> it's that got that tone of, 
I mean, you see them on Facebook, and you you know those people who are like, this is scientific accuracy, and there is exactly zero room for folly and whimsy, <laughs> yeah. and like the kids like, I love the sun, and the science is like, you actually don't love the sun, you don't know what love is, it's gonna <laughs> die, like you're just <laughs> yeah. smashing everything that like, <laughs> and really that is an insane caricature. Uh, yes, <laughs> there I, I I don't know. I don't actually know of any real people oh God, no. uh, who are that, but there is certainly the the perception right. that if you go anywhere that direction, then then you you know, oh you're terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like, yeah. Well and I think that unfortunately there are like there are people who purport to follow the people who actually know things sure. mm. who can get a little strident. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, you know, it's the internet, in, right? Yeah. Right. And, um, you know, and unfortunately that then creates the impression that the people who actually know things are also are that like way. that yeah. when they're <laughs> anything but. Yeah, it's it's generally if you're smart, yeah. you aren't that way. <laughs> and how Dave's character was pretty sure he's doing a good job. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. It wasn't like, man, I hope this works. It was like, uh, I'm really smart. Therefore, I will be good at everything, right. such as yeah. children's books. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. ice cream. <laughs> well, that that, I, I, it didn't really get into this in this little snippet, but um, just that he's clearly had to make certain compromises mm-hmm. on <laughs> reality. You know, like, and he and you know he, he talks about that, like, well, yeah, the. the you couldn't actually send a letter to the sun. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is fiction. Yeah. Yeah. He you has know, to point like, that out. Like he, he, he bends on that, but he's absolutely <laughs> not willing to bend on all these other seriously disturbing <laughs> aspects. Like, <laughs> like if you, you, I will burn you and give you cancer, so you should yeah. run and hide from me. I just picture a little kid. I'm not going outside, mommy. <laughs> I have to hide from the sun or yeah. I'll get cancer. Like. Oh my god! Yeah, well, it's 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 that's the thing though. It's true. There yeah, is yeah. no safe dosage of sunlight because of the harmful UV rays. Mm-hmm. Like there's our skin like resists it, uh-huh. but there is no safe <laughs> amount. Every every time you're in the sun, you're increasing your chance mm. of getting cancer. <laughs> Channeling a little bit of that character, Dave. Uh, well, that can, well, there's a lot of that character that comes from me, but I <laughs> I don't need the ten percent adjustment in tone. Uh, <laughs> more like a three to five percent up Ish. interpretation. <laughs> what I love about that is that he, you know, he he admits that the, the, there will be an adjustment for tone. Right. But I I don't think he really believes it. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Well, and I think what's funny about it is is like he says ten percent. Adjustment in tone, um, thinking, oh, yes, they're going to, like, add an adjective here. And yeah. There. Um, <laughs> when it's clear, like, no, these are going to be, these would have to be <clears throat> massive from the ground up rewrites. Yeah. <laughs> John's reaction throughout the whole thing, the trying to be polite and professional and interested, and he's horrified. Oh, what I oh love, God. I love, there's, there's, like, after... After he finishes reading the excerpt, there's actually a a decent length of just shocked silence <laughs> from the other people. And, was- and he and he and Sundrum kind of it sounds like he's picking up on on oh no one's Something's saying happening. anything, so I, I, I should keep talking. <laughs> he makes it worse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was only the first oh, yeah. my God. it got better from there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was so much fun. And the tone that you delivered in that character throughout was perfect. Yeah. Because it had that kind of, I'm trying to be whimsical like you <laughs> would when yeah. reading a book. And he had the, <laughs> like someone's coached him yeah. on, when you read it, okay, whatever, I've got this, I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm writing a book, but I've also included illustrations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Depicting the horrors. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. <clears throat> Guys. That's us. Guys, there's yeah. not but one scene Ooh. remaining. Was it N-A-U-G-H-T? Yes. Yes! I got it right. As it in does. zero. Zero but one. There is nothing, <sighs> however, what doesn't. <laughs> but you. the one. Damn you and your mm. poetry. 
<laughs> this is Laughable. from episode 86. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Zordon. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the most voted for okay. favorite scene of the entire year. And it is the dating game. <gasps> With our friends, Will Reed and Kristen Aguilera. Campbell. Oh. Christina. <laughs> yeah. And She's an interesting, uh, interesting thing. This is the third most downloaded episode of all time. Oh, Ooh. wow. Yeah. There we go. Damn, Fuck good. you, Zordon. Fuck you, Zordon. <laughs> good title. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is the dating game. This is from episode 86, like I said, and it is the number one favorite scene of 2014. There we go. And welcome back to the dating booth. Uh, We've got our next contestant up right here. Uh, Her name is Mary. Hi. Hi, Mary. Are you ready to, uh, to be courted by these fantastic suitors? I'm so excited. Wonderful. Uh, Now... As you know, we have a special format where you ask them questions on kind of a general theme and uh, and then receive their answers and, and, and talk with them a little bit. All right. So now our first questionone theme sort of a thing is going to be favorite date ideas. Ah, I love this. All right. So contestant number one. Yo. It's our first date. I love candlelights and dinners. What are some things that you love? I gotta say, I love, I love that tight, the tight curl. When you get it, you have the Smith machine. So you take it off the Smith machine and you curl it really in tight like that. You get the candlelights reflecting right off those curves. Mm, yeah, oh. mm, yeah. And then we'll have we'll have a little bit of protein powder right afterwards. Yeah, mix it with some almond milk, girl. Wow. Wow. So would that be your dinner that you would make for me? That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Protein powder. That's how you do it. That's how you bulk. That's how you tone. So what kind of candles would you ha- would you light for me? What would they smell like? <laughs> Protein powder. <laughs> Get your body in the mood to build muscles. He is a focused gentleman, isn't he, Mary? He is. I don't quite know if I if I'm Irritated or slightly irritated? (laughs) Wow. Strong words, Mary. All right. We'll we'll come talk to you later, protein man. That's right. You talk to me over here. Talk to me over there. She uh, she can't actually see you. That's okay. I hope you have a beach ball present. So. I got two. (laughs) Contestant number two. Hello. So we're on a desert. We've just met on a deserted island. Oh. And you fell madly in love with me. How would you show me your affections? Well, nobody's around. So I guess I'm going to find a coconut. And then I'll smack you over the head. <laughs> smack you over the head with it to take you over to... Um, a cave, <laughs> I suppose. Well, that that seems a uh, little... <laughs> very direct, isn't it? <laughs> a little to the point, let me say. It gets the job done. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, and what would... How would how would you say hello to me after I woke up? After you woke up, I would say... Hello! <laughs> I hit you with a COVID. <laughs> well, that's just a straight shooter right there, don't you think, Mary? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, just ha- I just have one question, though. When you saw me and you were about ready to hit me with the coconut, th- now, did you find this coconut on the ground or were you so emblazoned with with passion for me that you climbed a tree. I'm going to say I was emblazoned. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like a, a really manly thing to do. Well, you are emblazoned by something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number three. 
Yeah, hi. So, we just met at... We've been talking for a few weeks from an online dating site, and we decided to meet for coffee. What coffee shop would you take me to? Well, the, uh, the cafeteria where I work has coffee. <laughs> and uh, I spend most of my time there, so probably, probably have you come over to meet me there. So what kind of roast do you like? Uh, roast. <laughs> I, uh, I'm sorry, could you clarify what you mean by that? Do you like dark roast? Do you like... <laughs> or light roast? <laughs> Do you like... <laughs> I, uh, I just uh, take whatever they give me. <laughs> With cream or without? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't usually. I don't usually take cream. It uh, doesn't sit well with me. I gotta be really, a, really uh, on the top of my game when I'm at work. Mm. A serious man. Yes. Serious man. A few words, strong and silent. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. I would like to know what we would have to eat with this. Well, it depends what day of the week <laughs> he came down. Uh, Mondays, it's, uh, it's a pot roast kind of a situation. <laughs> Tuesdays, usually... Uh, Chicken pot pie. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, did you want to know our menu? Okay, I think we can, I can, dig, we can move it right along I'm to the like, next I'm, round here. I'm liking Tuesdays personally. Oh, oh my. <laughs> okay, well. One day. Uh, pot pie is a favorite of mine. <laughs> Well, we're gonna we're gonna move it right along to uh, to the next round here, and uh, your uh, questions theme for this round is gonna be entertainment. How do these guys have a little fun? So, contestant number one, yep. what are some things that you love to do for entertainment? I gotta say, one of the top ones is going over my Mister Universe wins. 97, 98, 99, 2001, because those are the best ones. You can watch my poses. I got this one. I mean, you can't see it, but it's like... It's impressive. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Wait, I can, oh, I wait, can listen, see it. It's impressive. Listen. listen. <coughs> oh, yeah. That was, that, was the, that was the 98 winner right there. Yeah. You can't see it, but it's he, uh, he just good. picked up uh, Paul, our, one of our producers, um, and Paul is... Paul's a Paul's a big guy. He's he's not insignificant. He, he needs to work on those lats. You know what I'm saying, Paul? Oh. You know what I'm saying, buddy? <laughs> oh, and now he's, he's uh, uh Paul. Yeah, Paul, just go on down to the nurse there. Uh, um no, I'm sure she can stop the bleeding. <laughs> <clears throat> well, this sounds like an incredibly interesting evening. It does. And you can oil me up while we watch my Miss Universe wins. Oh, what's your favorite kind of oil? Well, there's Jeremy's bronzer is a big favorite of mine. I usually that my left bicep. When you get like Kyle's darkener, I use for my right side because I drive with my left side out the window, so that gets a little darker. So the Kyle's bronzer on my right side is really kind of like you know, it's uh, it's between those two. I because you're not getting wrong. I love my left and right biceps equally. They're the best. <laughs> I love a man who's going who goes for equality. <laughs> Bro, do you even bronze? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that I do. That's what's up. Postman knows. So, contestant number two. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so, what's your fa absolute favorite thing to do on a Saturday night? On a Saturday night, I suppose that I will go out to the movies. <laughs> and when I'm at the movies... I'll watch the movie, and I will probably talk during the movie. <laughs> I will say, do not go in there, and then they go in there. That 
sort of thing. <laughs> oh, man, he's into uh, scary movies, it sounds like. Yes. What is your favorite scary movie? Um, oh, The Father of the Bride. <laughs> <laughs> All the, all the commitment sort of scares me. I told them not to go in there, but no, they went there. It is a terrifying film. <laughs> so what? <laughs> so what's the scariest movie that you ever saw? Um, probably, probably The Goonies. <laughs> There was all the little kids and a skeleton pirate. It was very, very scary. I said, no, Chuck, don't do that. And he did it. <laughs> uh, I could do the, the, the truffle shuffle if you like. He looks like he'd be good at it. <laughs> I'm just going to say. Because I practiced. Uh -huh. <laughs> just like Mr. Universe. That's right. Let me see the biceps, Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Baby. Kid's got heart. <laughs> so, contestant number three. Yeah. What's your favorite what's your favorite activity that you can do? Um well, let's see here. I guess I would have to pick from when I'm out in the yard. <laughs> um, I uh, probably my most fun is uh, watching the prisoners play basketball because there's some pretty good, pretty good ball players in there. Do any of them bend down to pick up the ball? Yeah, well, uh, sometimes the ball goes out of bounds and someone has to run out and get it, and they bend over and get it then, but. Uh, <laughs> So, 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 so he's a sports fan. He is. What's your favorite uniform? Well, I've only got the one. Uh, well, to be <laughs> fair, I've got a, a, I've got three of it, uh, but that's just for laundry management purposes. Uh, it's brown, uh, short sleeves. <laughs> I like all the numbers on it. Thank you. No, no, no. We don't want to give away too much here. He smells Matthew. like Sloppy Joes. <laughs> well, that's because uh, it's, it's Thursday. <laughs> oh. Sloppy Joes are great. Lots of protein. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty good. <clears throat> well, Mary, you've now uh, gotten a chance to really get to know these guys. Mm hmm do you think you've narrowed it down? Do you think you can make a choice? I think so. Ooh. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> well, contestants, get ready. Here we go. She's going to make her choice. It's going to be one of you. I'm all ready, and we're, Bob. And we're going to give you one last chance. To state your case, contestant number one. <laughs> You're going to want a man who can bench press you with one arm. Well, the other arm is flipping pancakes or something. But those don't have protein. They're protein pancakes. Okay. Kind of thought that was implied. Okay. Protein powder pancakes. I, I can do that. I'm that guy that can do that. Well done, contestant <laughs> one. Uh, <laughs> contestant number two, make your case. Oh, okay. Um, we can, we can be like two people at a movie and not get scared <laughs> if you hold me. <laughs> that would be nice. Fantastic. Contestant number three, make your case. I, um, I won't, uh, I won't be bothering you that much. <laughs> I'm usually at work, but I get... <laughs> I get paid well, and I get hazard pay on top of that, and I uh, get to retire at 50 instead of 55. And uh, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good retirement package. <laughs> so your future will be... Security good, from man. this 
third contestant. Oh, you know, wonderful. I hadn't thought about it that way, but I guess I, I'm kind of security now, and then there's security. Okay. Of the financial <laughs> kind. Fantastic. Fiduci fiscal. Now, Mary. Yes. You've made your choice. I think I have. You're ready to ready to let these guys know who's gonna go on that date to Dairy Queen with you? Well, if we could wrap it up soon, I have to get back to the big house pretty soon here. Yeah, we're the taping we're, has gone a little long. We're about so. we're about done, uh, <laughs> contestant three. So uh, okay. if you know the fewer interruptions, the quicker we'll be. Oh, I understand. Done I just wanted to now. clarify. Uh, yeah, timing. So no, it's fine. It's fine. So, Mary, yes. what is your choice? <laughs> My choice is the host. <laughs> or oh, contestant that's... number one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Out of my way, Tardy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. No, no, she, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she picked me, actually. She All right, let's arm wrestle for it. Uh, Tell you what, I'll use my left pinky. Make no, it fair. I, no, let's not do this that. This going to be like um, the movie Over the Top. He's got muscles like coconuts. Push-up contest. Uh, you can use both arms. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Go for it. All right. So you start. Right. We'll count how many you can do. Right. And and then I'll do mine afterwards. Oh, suckers! Guys, going down. Ready? You ready? You can clap push ups here. Start with one. Oh yeah. Two. Okay. Oh. Good night, everyone. Oh. We'll see you later. Okay. Let's go to Derek. All right. Yeah. Behind the back push ups. Behind the back. Oh, I almost got it. <laughs> God, you know, it's it's one of those things where you had to be there, mm. but not in the sense that it's not funny at all. Uh, but it was uh, so funny in uh, in the moment. Yeah, yeah. It, all we were, of Will's <laughs> <laughs> mother of the bride out of left field, but yeah. like <laughs> it was. I did not expect that at all. From yeah. the bride, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, don't go. His overstatement of simple things. Yeah. Like, I, I can't. I will say, don't go in there. But <laughs> they they <laughs> went in there. <laughs> oh, and, was... like, he would go, and then you would go, and I'd be like, how do I follow that? Yeah. Like, I, I, I opened up with what I thought was a decently amusing uh -huh. dating game type character. And then fucking Will and Dave just take <laughs> yeah. off, and I'm like, oh, what now? Oh. Uh. Well, yeah, it's like yours was, it's, yeah, like your protein powder obsessed beefcake <laughs> is the most normal right. person there. <laughs> the weirdest straight man ever. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you did that and then, and then Will started and I was like, yeah. there's, if there ever was going to be competition, that's, it's no longer. <laughs> It is no longer. I was like, I, I can't, you can't go bigger than that. No. You know? Mm -mm. So I. I remember you saying that right after the scene at some point. It's like, that was you, what you were going to do as a character like that. And then he said it so well. Yeah. It's like, shit, gotta go a different direction. Yeah, so I just went really yeah, low, yeah. low key. <laughs> I like how you would think of things during your sentences and go, mm. like, I've got the. Oh, and there's this. And this. <laughs> yeah. Still not excited. Still not. Like. Well, you know what's what's funny is that there was so much that that character is able to do with long pauses yeah. Yeah. that normally I wouldn't have gotten away with, mm -hmm. but for the fact that everyone was laughing their asses <laughs> yeah. off. Oh my god! Right, like so I had the time to 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 mm -hmm. let the stuff breathe. You know, with these weird long you know lists. <laughs> It like, seems like a long list, but it's only three things, yeah. you know? And then when you offered, like, oh, do you want to hear the menu? I was like, God, no. God, yeah. no. <laughs> Moving on. Why, yeah. why is no one talking yet? <laughs> <laughs> He's that guy. He's the, that character is that person who says the bare minimum, like, doesn't expand on things. It's like, Paul, did you clean the floors? Yeah. Okay, thanks. And I was like, tell me about yourself. Oh, like, I'm what Paul. do you, I'm Paul, yeah. I'm Paul. <laughs> and then when no one talks, he's just like, I guess I didn't get it right. And yeah. keeps, <laughs> and keeps driving onward. Yeah. Oh. That was, oh. and then her, her, her dating game Bachelorette uh -huh. was like spot on. Mm. Like, yeah. The questions were open-ended, but not insipid. Uh -huh. It was like, name a thing. Cool. I can run with this without going like, you didn't get that analysis paralysis of, tell uh, me a thing about your character. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Yeah. But, like, 
It was like, it's like when come we go up for with a date. Yeah, come with a, <laughs> right, with this meathead go on a date. Yeah. We can watch my Mr. Universe. <laughs> yeah. 96, 97, 98. 2001. <laughs> yeah. And I loved that little detail that there were two years in there where it didn't make it. <laughs> I was thinking, I want, yeah, I want to toss that in there, like, and just gloss over it. And if yeah. somebody asks about it, no, 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 no it's not no, important, no, not important. No, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you, you're a great host, John. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the jumping in, the trying to be super charismatic, <laughs> yeah. and like yeah. it would be dead silent. All right, everyone. <laughs> Let's bring the energy uh, back up. Yeah. Well, some of the interruptions as well, like towards the yeah. end, where it's like. No, we uh, no. You are not talking anymore. Moving on. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, I gotta get the taping right on late. Well, it wouldn't run late. Yes, you know, <laughs> that the little aside. Look yeah. at his final moment of power of like, nah, I can do this. I can tell you that you you need to shut up. And then he wins. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, like I like <laughs> that whole exit was perfect. It was the host. Dead silence. <laughs> or contestant number one. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> I'm like, I was like thinking the obvious thing to do was to, was to fight him. I'm going to beat you up and take what I want. That's obvious. That's the trope. Uh, Let's play with this a little bit. Right. It's like, all right, push up contest. Yeah. Arm wrestling. Here's my pinky. Like, I can just see this like good natured meathead yeah. going, all right, let's play this out. Come on, you yeah. and me. Right. And then, like, yes. Yes, yeah. push-up contest, you start. Sucker. <laughs> and when you get tired in an hour and a half, yeah. I will be long gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm that guy. I'm the guy that can do that. Yeah. You you talking over that just at the end of the sentence was the best. Because it was that his clock is going five and he's done. Yeah. Four, three. That's me. I'm that guy. I'm just in case. No, your time's up. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot to mention yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, good. Good times. Uh, Excellent times. It's been a. It's been a good year. I think it's been a good year. I agree and concur. I like what we've done. Mm-hmm. I think so. I like having our fans along the way, having our special guests mm-hmm. and our questions, questiones. Mm-hmm. You guys are pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. I must say, especially pretty France good. for putting up with us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh huh. They are a very patient people. That's what I've been told. Aesthetic yeah. and patient. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And French. Yeah. We. We what? Like them. Oh, yeah. We do, mm. don't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, and anything else? Um, There was that thing we were going to say. Well, uh, but I forgot it. So yeah. I guess we won't say well, it. Those were the top ten scenes. Mm-hmm. And- oh, yeah, that, was that the thing we were going to say? That those were the top ten? Well, Dave just said it, so if it was, good, we're done. It was right. 2014, so now it's 2015. Thanks for voting. It is 2015. Thank you for voting. And- we appreciate it. Uh, Try to remember all the guests. Thanks, Brent and Jay and Jenny and Will mm. and Sarah, Christina Aguilera and, and Sarah Jason. and Jason. Jason, the impronounceable. Did we miss anyone? I hope not. If we missed you, write us an angry letter. Like, actually write a letter. Mm-hmm. Uh, do it in the review section of iTunes. Yeah, mm-hmm. take a picture of that and then upload the photo to our Facebook so we can yeah. see the letter you actually like wrote. Don't type, handwrite. Yeah. Mm. If you have a feather quill, that's the best way to do it. It is. That's yeah. what Madison would do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And who is Madison if not the role model for all of us? Well, you yeah. know, just saying. Okay. Well, we hope you all have had a fantastic year. We oh. did. Do, do we? We don't. We don't hope that. We don't hope you all have had a fantastic no, year. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Sorry, Dave gave me the high sign. What? What? I don't know what's going on. Sorry, I just had to uh, growl. I'm confused and frightened. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't hope you had so, a fantastic year, but we kind of do. Also, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. How do you sum this up? That's kind of what I'm trying to do, and mm. you sort of growling at me. <laughs> No. So, 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm John. It's been a good year. It's been a great year, and I don't feel like I feel like we're not done with this part yet. Oh my god! Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we've done ten, this part like three times now. Three times is the charm. Yeah. So, so thanks I, very much. I've been I'm, John. I have been Cody. Is like it's charming, but that guy's could, Dave. He's Dave. Better, right? Mm-hmm. Don't you? Thanks. When someone 2015. does when someone does something nice for you, Dave, what do you say? I deserved it. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Um, I earned this thing. <laughs> right before someone says you're welcome, what do you say? Wait, I say something? Yeah. They don't just say you're welcome. You say. Right, yeah. People don't say you're welcome what's to me that, that much. What's that, that guy who was in Forrest Gump? What's his last name? And then Gump? what's... No, the actor's name. Tom. I don't know actors. <laughs> <laughs> what... What do you do, like, if we're in prison yeah. and you and you stab me with an improvised prison knife? Yeah. What, what is that? I shank you. Very much. Good night, folks. What? <laughs> it's not my catchphrase anymore. <laughs> if you enjoy the show, please rate and review us on iTunes. Also, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash timewastepod. You can follow us on Twitter at TimeWastePod. Send us an email at TimeWastePod at gmail.com. You can also find us on Tumblr and Blogger. <laughs> Did you want to do something different? I just I don't know. No, I just felt like we needed to sum something up somehow or oh, emotionally yeah. draw I, it to a close. I was trying to like hope you all had a very great year and you went, Arrgh! Yeah, I don't know. I just <laughs> I was happy, so I started <laughs> making noise. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I think we were fine. I think so. Yeah. Okay. We like even that, we kind of poked that trope a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so poke a trope. Poke a trope. <laughs> on a rope. Like it open. You were recording, right? Yep. Good. <laughs>